Section 4.1 Understanding Standard Deviation, Section 4, Limitations and Alternatives to Standard Deviation, 4.1 Normal Distribution Assumption, The assumption of normality is an important underlying assumption when calculating standard deviation. Standard deviation assumes that the distribution of data follows a normal or bell-shaped distribution. This assumption is based on the following characteristics of a normal distribution, symmetry, a normal distribution is symmetric around its mean, with the data points evenly distributed on both sides of the mean, central limit theorem. The central limit theorem states that the distribution of sample means tends to follow a normal distribution. Regardless of the shape of the original population, as the sample size increases, known shape, the shape of a normal distribution is well defined, with specific proportions of data falling within certain standard deviation intervals, Example: approximately 68% within one standard deviation, 95% within two standard deviations, and 99.7% within three standard deviations. Dot, mean and standard deviation relationship. The mean and standard deviation fully describe the characteristics of a normal distribution. When the assumption of normality holds true, standard deviation provides a meaningful measure of dispersion and variability around the mean. It allows for quantifying the spread of data points and understanding the likelihood of observing values within a certain range. However, it's important to note that in practice, data often do not perfectly conform to a normal distribution. Many real-world datasets exhibit skewness, heavy tails, or other deviations from normality. In such cases, the application of standard deviation may not be as accurate or appropriate, it's crucial to exercise caution when relying solely on standard deviation in non-normal distributions. Alternative measures and techniques, such as robust statistics, non-parametric methods, or other risk measures like value at risk (VAR), may be more suitable for assessing dispersion and risk in non-normal datasets. In summary, standard deviation assumes a normal distribution of data, which allows for meaningful interpretation of the measure. However, it's important to consider the limitations of this assumption and explore alternative approaches when dealing with non-normal data. When dealing with non-normal data distributions, it's important to recognize and consider the limitations of relying on measures like standard deviation. Here are some key limitations to keep in mind, skewness and kurtosis. Non-normal distributions often exhibit skewness, where the data are asymmetrically distributed, and kurtosis, which refers to the shape of the distribution's tails. Standard deviation does not capture these characteristics of the data distribution. Therefore, it may not provide a complete picture of the dispersion or risk. Outliers and extreme values Non-normal distributions may contain outliers or extreme values that can significantly affect the standard deviation. A few extreme values can inflate the standard deviation and make it less representative of the majority of the data, heavy tails, Non-normal distributions with heavy tails, such as those with fat tails or long tails, indicate a higher likelihood of extreme events. Standard deviation assumes a normal distribution with finite tails, so it may not adequately capture the risks associated with extreme events in such distributions. Nonlinearity. Standard deviation assumes a linear relationship between variables. In cases where the relationship is nonlinear, Standard deviation may not accurately represent the dispersion or risk. Non-normal distributions. Many real-world datasets do not follow a perfect normal distribution. Common examples include financial returns, which often exhibit fat tails and asymmetry. Using standard deviation alone may lead to an incomplete or inaccurate understanding of the risks involved. Alternative measures. When dealing with non-normal data, alternative measures and techniques may be more appropriate. These include robust statistics, non-parametric methods, or other risk measures like value at risk, VAR, or expected shortfall. These measures may provide a more comprehensive and accurate assessment of dispersion and risk in non-normal distributions. It's important to remember that the appropriateness of standard deviation and other statistical measures depends on the characteristics of the data and the specific context in which they are applied. It's advisable to conduct a thorough analysis explore alternative measures, and consider the unique properties of the data distribution to gain a more accurate understanding of the dispersion and risk involved.